Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 35. But someone may ask, how are the dead rise? With what kind of a body will they come? How foolish. What you uh, saw does not come to life unless it dies. When you saw, we do not plan the body that will be, but just a seed, uh, perhaps of a weed or uh, something else. But God gives it uh, a body as he has determined. To each kind of seed, he gives its own body. All flesh is not the same. Men have one kind of flesh, animals have another bird another, and fish another. There are also heavenly bodies, and there are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind, and the splendor of earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and stars another, and star differ, uh, differs from star in splendor. So, will it be with the resurrection of that? The body that is sown is uh, uh, perishable. It is raised uh, imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in the natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, it is written the first uh, man, Adam, become a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. And after that, the spiritual. The first man was of the, uh, of the dust of the earth. The second man from heaven, as was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth, as he, uh, is, a, is a man from heaven. So also are those who are of heaven, and just as we have from uh, become a likeness of the earthly man. So shall we bear the likeness of the man from heaven? I declare to you, brothers, the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you, a uh, mystery, we will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flesh, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, a uh, dead will be raised imperishable and will be changed. For perishable must clothe itself with imperishable, with a mortal, with a immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with the immortality, when then the saying that is written will come true. That has been uh, solid up in victory. Where or that is your victory. Where or that is your sting. The sting of the dead is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gives edge, He gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. This morning, you can see it according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 35 to uh, 58 about the mortal body. We live in this world with the body, yeah? We have body, but we have the uh, imperishable body, is what we call inner man. Did you understand? Our earthly body will, you know, disappear. It goes to the dust, you know. But our spirit, 
I will, you know, that is what, where or oh, that is your victory, or oh, that is your victory, you know, your sin staining. You know, our body will we, we, we pass away, heaven and earth will pass away, we we'll die. But I tell you, our spirit is uh, not die. That is why, you know, when you live in this world, believe in the Lord Jesus and have uh, uh, eternal life. You know, Paul, in conclusion, verse 56, uh, he saying, the sting of death is a sin, and the power of sin is the, is the law. And he said, thanks be to God. Why? He gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have a victory? Yes, I have victory. You can have a victory through Lord Jesus Christ. Even Romans chapter 7, Paul said, what a wretched man I am. Yeah. Who will rescue me from this uh, uh, sinful nature? He said, give thanks to the Lord. My Lord Jesus, he rescued me from this uh, sinful nature. Therefore, according to this scripture, you know, we are born in what? Well, in the first Adam's uh, you know, uh, life. You know, first Adam committed the sins. That is why if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 45, so it is written, the first man Adam become a living being. You see, we born in this world, yeah, from our mother's womb, and we are born as a living being like Adam. But it's not enough. You know, we have to open our mind to receive the uh, Spirit of God. Look, uh, it is written, the first Adam become a living being. But the last Adam, who is the last Adam? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is a life-giving spirit. That's different. Living being and life-giving spirit. Yeah? And then Jesus, uh, he has got the life-giving spirit, which means you are not just living in this world as a human being, but you have the uh, life, life, uh, giving spirit, who is the Holy Spirit actually. You have the Holy Spirit. You know, most of people, they don't receive the Holy Spirit. If you don't receive the Holy Spirit, you you are just a normal man and woman, and then you will die and then go to hell without the Spirit of God. Do you know what the Bible says? Without the Spirit of God, you never recognize that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Only through Jesus you can recognize that Jesus, your Lord and your Savior. This morning, you have to <coughs> understand that when Jesus lives inside of you, the, the life-giving spirit inside of you. Do you understand? When you have the life-giving spirit inside of you, I know you are born again. When you are born again, Krishna, you know what to do. You know where to, where to go. And then that this morning, and then the spirit of living God come upon you, and you can have a great victory. You know, uh, of course, God made us uh, three areas, spirit, uh, soul, and body. But unfortunately, when we are born in this world, uh, you know, without uh, uh, the spirit of God moving and working in our life, uh, uh, we are just uh, uh, like a child of the world, child of darkness. We, we never belong to Jesus. Therefore, you know, we preach the gospel. Yeah, I saw that three years old girl received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and preached the gospel. Three years old girl, I saw that. And therefore, anybody hear this message, please wake up and uh, receive the uh, life-giving spirit uh, through Lord Jesus Christ. And that Jesus want to stay in your life. And he will guide you. And therefore, you are a more than conqueror. You are a more than conqueror. You will have a great victory. And Paul say, uh, but thanks be to God, he gave us, he gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you have a victory today? Yes, you are a more than conqueror. You can have a great victory in Jesus. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. And we give, we have the victory uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, we are not just uh, received uh, a living being, but we have the uh, life-giving spirit through Lord Jesus Christ. Father, help us to live with a life-giving spirit. Jesus, we bless your name. 
you gave us the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we are a more than conqueror. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Bye now.